Hey YouTube, Atheist Vape is checking in. Today we have got the Smoke Tech Caterpillar RDA. So we've got an authentic, original uh, Smoke Tech RDA, and at an affordable price, I might add. Yeah, so this is a, uh, you know, kind of like Einekin. They are authentics, uh, but they're in the price range of Team Cheap Mod. So anyone can pretty much pick one of these up. Um, and for those of you who are against clones, you know, this might be the perfect uh, route for you. Um, especially, you know, if you're on a budget like I am, this is definitely something to consider. Um, you know, overall, the thing puts out pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite RDA. Uh, I don't use it a ton, um, but it does have pretty decent airflow. It's an easy build. You got a lot of room in there. And I mean, it actually looks pretty decent too. Uh, I do like the adjustable airflow on here. It's, you know, really, really simple to use. The only downside on that though, being so easy to turn, is if you like bump it or something and you're not paying attention, I've actually covered up all my air holes just sticking around with it. Uh, and then when I go to take a hit, it's, you know, <laughs> it's not that pleasant. Um, so that's the only downside I can see to having that kind of adjustable shield that's really easy to move like that. Um, it is a 22 millimeter RDA, so it will look flush on like your Nemi and stuff like that. Um, the King V2 is 23 mil uh, or 23 meter, uh, millimeters, so, you know, there's a little bit of an overhang, but not that big of a deal. I think that looks pretty good together. Um, you know, it is stainless steel, and then you've got this like gold plated or, or painted anyway. Uh, you know, adjustable airflow thing here. Um, the shape of it, I think that these type of RDAs that have the flat top end up getting a little more juicy, not as great a flavor. Uh, I've noticed like the Origin or the Tobe or um, the Paradigm Magma, they have a nice like dome uh, top to their caps and that seems to give really good flavor. Uh, to me, it, it actually allows the, uh, the, the condensation to kind of go back down on the wick versus these it kind of clings to the top and then you end up sucking it up. And it does kind of have a weird drip tip too. This did come with it. It does have the like heat sink things on there. Uh, it's just kind of a weird drip tip. I don't know. It looks kind of funky. It's different. It's, uh, I don't know. It looks, I, I haven't decided whether I like it or not, honestly. It's, it stands out, that's for sure. Um, but it's not one you can like necessarily drip into, um, which I would prefer that. Honestly, because if I'm in the, on the go, it's nice to just be able to drip it through the top and have it actually funnel down onto your wick. But again, for uh, uh, an RDA, it was an easy build. I have no real uh, complaints with it other than aesthetics. Um, so, you know, I, I would suggest this to someone who's on a budget for, for an RDA purchase and wants to get an original. If you don't have a problem with clones, go pick up something that, you know, like the Origin or the Magma or something like that, or, or a Cartel Stellaire even. Um, because you're going to be able to get those at a really, really good price, comparable to the same, you know, cost as the uh, Smoke Tech Caterpillar. Um, but you are getting a clone, so in, in some cases a direct counterfeit. It's not even a clone, it's literally just a one-to-one -one copy. Um, so if you want to feel good about your purchase, pick up this sucker for sure. Uh, let's fire it up though, it does put out some pretty good vapor. That's good stuff. I wanted to show you. Yeti Vapes sent me five bottles of the, uh, five different custard blends. I love their logo on there. I uh, I was a huge uh, Yeti researcher as a child. Cryptozoology was my shit back then. <laughs> I always wanted to find Bigfoot. And you know, all the sightings are around the Pacific Northwest. Obviously, they're all over, but there's a lot here, supposedly. So every time we went backpacking, I always was looking for Bigfoot. Um, but these are fantastic. Uh, I gotta say, I fell in love with Custards after I tried Captain Custard and then Blonde from Alloy Blends. Uh, Captain Custard was from Herbal Tides. Now I've gotten five different Custard blends from Yeti Vapes. I'm in love with this company. Um, I, I don't know why I hadn't heard of these people before. 
Uh, but I am so glad they sent me juice. So I got a review coming up for these guys soon. Um, yeah, fantastic stuff. And it tastes fantastic in the Caterpillar RDA. I got a .45 build. It's a dual coil um, build. Um, I believe I use 26 gauge Canthal. That's generally what I use to get below .5. Um, you know, I, I threw it on the, uh, the Hannah mods and it just didn't quite heat up as fast as I had hoped. So I tossed it on the King V2 hoping that it would fire up a little, a little better. And it seems to be. With that airflow, it's not going to be, uh, if you like a ton of airflow, this isn't going to be the RDA for you, but it is decent. But as you can see, the air holes are pretty tiny, but what they lack in size, they make up for in number. So I'm getting really good vapor production after this thing. Again, great flavor. The drip tip, though, it gets a little juicy, you know. Like I said, with the flat top and this type of drip tip, I feel like you suck up juice a little quicker. Um, yeah, let's, let's throw a little more juice on here. We'll do our up close and personal here. I'll give you some of the specs and uh, we'll finish out this review. Oh, God, I love this Yeti vapes. If you don't know about these guys, jump on this stuff before my review. Honestly, they are that good. You need to get it. Crackle. I mean, I am not complaining about the vapor production from this thing. So, it is going to put out people. So, I, again, it's all coming down to aesthetics for me. I just, I'm not a huge fan of the look of it. That's really what it comes down to. It's not necessarily the performance, because this thing's putting out. All right, let's dial up close. We'll give you some of the specs. Here is our up close and personal with the Smoke Tech Caterpillar RDA. You know, honestly, it's not like it's a bad looking RDA. It's just, it's, I don't know what it is. It's just... Not for me personally. Um, it's not like the coolest, most stylish RDA that's ever come out. Um, the drip tip is a little funky. That does stand out a bit. Um, you know, it's a 22 millimeter RDA. And it's going to look good and flush on most of your mods. Um, and you know, for an affordable RDA, it's not it's not that bad. I mean, it's it's easy to build on, so that's a definite positive. Um, the drip tip again, it's a little funky. Not my favorite drip tip that ever came out. Um, I, I prefer the kind you can actually drip in. I like more of the wide bore. This is more of a tight draw. Um, I'll show you the innards here. Pull the top cap off. Again, I'm not a huge fan of this kind of you know top cap design. As you can see, it collects a lot of juice up there. And so I prefer more of a dome shape. And this even has a lip down in there that causes it to do you know, even a little more uh, juice collection in there. So, anyway, that's just a couple observations. Let's see if we can get a little more close up on here. All right, so we got our dual coil build. Again, I use the 26 gauge Canthal. Got a 0.45 ohm uh, resistance there. Um, you know, it's got a lot of room. Uh, I use a lot of cotton there, so if you're someone like me, you got plenty of room for doing that. The post holes, not the biggest in the world. Uh, let's see, we'll pull some of this out here. Just kind of get that out of the way. Um, but they're not like super tiny either. Um, but it was a little tricky getting uh, both the 26 gauge wire through that. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, the gaskets are fairly nice on here. They're not super tight. So you don't have to fight it too hard. Um, and then again, you've got the, the flat head uh, posts for screwing down your your uh, wire there or your coil I'm not a huge fan of that design I prefer the Phillips head um, but you know it's it's still fairly easy you can get it finger tight down and then you pull out your screwdriver and, and really torque it down so anyway just a couple of observations I'm not trying to bash on this thing I think it's a fine RDA it's just not my personal favorite and then we got our standard uh, 510. Um, it looks adjustable. I haven't actually tried it. It looks like we got silver plating there. Um, but yeah, that is the Smoke Tech Caterpillar. Doesn't look like we got an RDA or anything. Or I mean, uh, as I was saying, doesn't look like we got a serial number or anything on there. So it's pretty just basic. Uh, but anyway, yep, that's the up close and personal. Let's get uh, back to our review. That was our up close and personal with the Smoke Tech Caterpillar RDA. So, as you can see, easy to build. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the flathead, uh, 
you know, screws for the posts, uh, just because most of the screwdriver, screwdrivers I have are Phillips head. Um, but, you know, some people have said that's better for not having it strip as easy. Yeah, whatever. I don't usually carry around a screwdriver with me, but I do always have one of these little mini screwdrivers. I've gotten in the habit of taking the ones that have both ends. Uh, it came with like the EH Pro. Uh, it also came with my, uh, oh God, what was it? The Expromiser came with one. Um, but that flathead on there is just a little too small for these posts. Uh, they don't get very good purchase. And so I feel like I'm going to end up stripping it out anyway. Um, you know, overall, I don't know if I'd say two thumbs up just because personally, it's not my favorite RDA. And if I had, you know, if I was spending 30 or 40 bucks, I would pick up a different one. Um, but if you are looking for an original and you want an authentic and you don't want to deal with clones, you know, maybe you have a moral thing against that, um, this is definitely going to be in your budget. And so I would suggest picking it up if you're looking for an authentic. I, I think Smoke Tech makes pretty good stuff, honestly. I think they make better stuff than Heineken. Um, you know, people like the Clearomizers. Their X.1 is fantastic, but like the iClear 30, I hated that thing, honestly. That's just me. Some people love it, um, but, you know, I've kind of got a prejudice against Clearomizers anyway just because I love dripping. I love my K-Fun, so if it comes to a tank, it's going to be a rebuild for me, hands down. Um, but yeah, not my favorite RDA, but obviously not the worst one I've come across. I, I would take this over the, uh, what was it, the Omega? That one was a pain in the ass to build in, honestly, so this is cake to build in. And it really does put out. Good lord, that Yeti Vapes is delicious. Ugh. What custard is that? Abbott Road? Whew. Anyway, like I said, they sent me five. All of them are great. I've tried them all. I've dripped them all. Oh my god, so good. I'm actually cleaning out my Expromiser right now just so I can throw some Yeti Vapes custard in there. Uh, just because, wow, this stuff is fantastic. Alright, well, that's my review for the Smoke Tech Caterpillar RDA. Again, Pick it up if you're, you know, you want to get an authentic, but you don't have a lot of money to spend. Uh, but if you have no objection to clones, pick up like a Magma or an Origin or something comparable or the Tobe. Those are fantastic RDAs and, you know, you get really good vapor production and I, I just think they're designed a little bit better. Um, but yeah, overall, not a bad RDA and I got nothing to get it against it majorly except aesthetic or aesthetics. So anyway, that's my two cents on this. Um, I want to let you all know, we still got a couple e-juice giveaways, uh, one for Lucky Ruckus. All you got to do is comment on the Lucky Ruckus review. I've got another one for Terrapin Vapor, so watch my Terrapin Vapor uh, Charlie Fogg review, and I'm giving away a bottle of that. Good stuff. Um, I still got t-shirts for sale. Uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway with the King V2 and an EH Pro K Fund here in a couple weeks. Uh, I've also got a VIP giveaway coming up. Uh, for those of you who purchase stickers, I want to let you know there's still 70 spots basically open. So there's a lot of room left if you want to get a sticker and get on that VIP list. I'm giving away two, 50, or two 30 mil bottles of Imperium Romanum's e-juice. Really, really good stuff. They're both 6 milligram Nick. So yeah, be sure to stay subscribed. Check out my Facebook. Uh, it's facebook.com slash theatheistvapist. And hit me up on, um, at my email, atheistvapist at gmail.com. If you want to order a shirt, got tons of medium and large left. Uh, maybe one or two smalls, one or two extra large left. Uh, so if you do need that size, jump on it quick. So anyway, peace and love YouTube. Atheist Vapist is out.